Well, good morning, fifth graders. Assuming you're looking at this in the morning, um, we are starting chapter 13. And 13.1 is about order of operations. And it's something uh, we've touched on before, never specifically taught it that I recall. Um, but uh, I know I've mentioned it before and maybe gave you guys an example or two. But that's really what 13.1 is all about. And I uh, came up with the definition. Uh, well, I didn't come up with it, actually. I found one that I thought was uh, pretty straightforward. Let me show it to you here. It says, uh, the order of operations is a, is a rule that tells you the right order in which to solve different parts of a math problem. Subtraction, multiplication, and division are all examples of operations. And the order of operations is important because it guarantees that people... Uh, can all read and solve solve the problem in the same way. Uh, in other words, if we didn't use order of operations, we would get different answers for the same uh, the same problem, and then nobody would agree, and that would be a mess. So, uh, at the beginning of thirteen one here. What page is this? Five thirty eight looks like they give us an example. And it says, uh, to avoid getting more than one answer, uh, he, I guess they're talking about Jack, uh, used order of operations um, that are given at the right. And uh, some of you may be familiar with, uh, with this. Let's see here. Uh, what is it? PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. And uh, that would be parentheses. Uh, parentheses and the second one is exponents and the M is multiplication and division and um, well the M and the D I should say and the AS is addition and subtraction Okay, that's what PEMDAS stands for. And I think most of you guys have come across that. So uh, in this very first page here, they give us some examples or an example, step one, two, and three. Um, you always do uh, the operations inside the parentheses first, okay? And so here's this, this problem right here. And it looks like it's seven times two minus three plus eight divided by two uh, times three. Let me just write that here for a moment here. Let's look at this just for a second. Uh, I'm going to write it what they have here. They've got seven times two and then minus three and uh, plus eight divided by two um, and then times three. Okay. Let's look at this for a moment. If I did seven times two, what's that? That's 14. Then I subtracted 3 from that. Uh, that's going to be 11. Okay. Now what do I have? Plus 8. What's 11 plus 8? 11 plus 8 is 7. No, 19. Okay. 19 divided by 2. Uh, if I'm doing that right, that would be uh, 7 times 2 is 14. Minus 3 is 11. 11 plus 8 is 19. 19 divided by 2. That's going to be um, 18 uh, would be 9. 9.5 be 9.5. Uh, five, and then whatever that is times three. Well, what's what's uh, nine times three is twenty-seven, um, and then point five times three is one point five. So twenty-seven plus one point five. So we have twenty-eight point five. Okay, that would be the answer if we didn't have PEMDAS. Okay, twenty-eight point five. Let me write that over here somewhere. I'll put it right here, 28.5. So you're going to see here in a moment that we're, we get quite a different answer. Quite a different answer. All right. So um, what do they do here? Well, they do what's in the brackets first, and that's 11, which is what I did. And, um, and then you have your order of operations. Multiplication and division, you would do those first from left to right. 
So uh, the next one you would do is 8 divided by 2, which is 4, and then 4 times 3, which is 12. Then we have 11 plus 12. What's that going to be? That's going to be 23. 23 is quite a bit different from 28.5. So this is just a simple example of why uh, order of operations, PEMDAS, is, is important. Okay. So that's what this, uh, this section is about. Let's look at some of these problems here they're giving us. Um, convince me with the value of, and they give us 2 plus, and then in brackets, and then within the brackets is parentheses 15 minus 3 and then minus 6 divided by 2 change if the brackets were removed. You don't have to do that one. Uh, we know it would change. I just gave you an example of that. So uh, there you go. There's a freebie for you. Number one here. Explain the steps involved in evaluating the expression. Okay, you don't have to explain the steps, uh, but I do want you guys to do this. Um, so what's the answer? Do what's in the parentheses first. You're going to do the 4 plus 2. And then whatever that is, it's going to be minus 1. And then whatever that is, times 3. So you can do, uh, let me mark this here, pick a color. There we go. You can do number 1. Um, would the value of 12 minus 4, number 2 here, change if the parentheses is removed? Yes, you know it would. So I'm not worried about that. It's kind of a no-brainer. You can certainly do 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's do one of them. Um, let's do number three. All right, number three. So I'm going to rewrite it over here. It's, it's, there's a bracket, and then we have seven times six. And the six is within the bracket in parentheses minus one. And then close the bracket plus 100. All right, so what's the, what's the first thing we have to do here? Well, we're going to do the parentheses that are within the brackets first. So that's, that's 6 minus 1. And, and what is that going to be? That's going to be 5. So now we have a bracket 7 times. And I can go ahead and leave it in the parentheses. Or not. It doesn't really matter. Close the bracket plus 100. I should put an equal sign here because we're working on solving these. All right. So 7 times 5 is what? 35. 35. And we have a bracket here. Okay. Whoops, not times. It's going to be plus. Plus 100. And the answer is um, 135. Okay, so there's number 3 done for you. So keep track of, of these, of the, of the brackets and the parentheses within the brackets. All right. Some of them might have 3. You might even have... Um, Oh, I forgot what they call them. There's a different name. I mean, this this would be, these are brackets. These are parentheses. And then there's these funny shaped ones. I forgot what they call them. But anyways, so you'll, you'll come across problems like that. Okay. So there was three, number three done for you. So I want you to do those. And um, let's see here. You can, whoops, undo. Move this up. The independent practice, you can do, um, you know, I'm not worried about, well, yeah, you can do seven, you can do eight, um, yeah, you can do nine, let me help you out with nine here a little bit. Um, this would be this would be 24 because you're just pulling the 24 down okay well what's 3 plus 1 that's 4 and so this this 4 right here what's it being multiplied by 2 all right and I think you can figure out the rest so um, 10 11 12 13 14, 15, 16, or that's 18, 17, 16, <laughs> going backwards. 19, 20, 21. I want you guys to do all, all those. Um, let's see here. Let's 
try 21 together. Let's see if we can get it. So it's got those funny brackets, and I forget what they're called. It's a type of parentheses, eight times. And then we have a bracket, one plus, and then in parentheses here, 20 uh, minus six, uh, close the parentheses, and then we close the bracket, and then we have the funny parentheses. Uh, divided by, all that divided by one half. All right. So what's the first thing we do? The first thing we could do is the, the innermost bracketed part of the equation. So um, uh, so what's that going to be? What's, what's 20 minus 6? That's going to be 14. Okay. So I could, I could rewrite this now. So we have the funny brackets 8 times bracket 1 plus and then I can go ahead and put that leave it in parentheses if, if you want close the bracket and then again the funny parentheses divided by 2 alright so what's the next step and I didn't have to put those brackets around the 14 I, I just did alright so the next step is going to be what's the innermost and that's going to be 1 plus 14 which is 15 okay so we have funny parentheses 8 times and then uh, 1 plus 14 is 15 so I'll just go ahead and, and put that 8 times 15 okay and um, and so really I've done what's inside the brackets so I could be done with those I don't have to write those and then the parentheses here divided by 2 equals equals because we're trying to solve this here. Well, what's 8 times 15? Well, um, what's 8 times 10? That's easy. That's 80, right? What's 8 times 5? All right, that's one way to do it. You could add those two together. The other way to do it is, is the old-fashioned way, which is 15 whoops, times 8. 8 times 5, isn't that 40? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah. Count them by fives there. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. That's 120. All right. So in these bracket, parentheses, whatever, what do we have? 120. 8 times 15 is 120. And then whatever in there is being divided by 2. Okay. What's 120 divided by 2? Well, the answer is 60. So the answer to uh, number, what was that we were doing? 21. Yeah. Answer 60. There you go. Did one for you. All right. Um, next page. I want you guys to do, um, yeah, you could do 22. 23, oh, I hated those. 23 problems like 23. Oh, 24. <laughs> anyway, I'm making you do them. <laughs> I'd have to think about 23 for a while. It's going to be kind of trial and error. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. It's going to be six times something and then in the brackets there it's three minus one that's all the help you're going to get from me <laughs> and then uh 25 you can do 26 you can do and yeah let's see here whoops um yeah 27 you could do which using order of operations which operation should you perform last to evaluate this expression so in this expression here you're going to do what's in the parentheses first okay so you're going to do that one you'll do that one you'll do that one and that one and each one of those you're going to come up with something we'll call this one let's just call it x 
and we'll call this one Z, and we'll call this answer uh, B, and this answer A. So you would actually rewrite it like this. It'd be X, okay, plus Z, plus B, minus A. See what I did there? Okay, this is addition, so this was addition. I'll put it the same color, make it easier. This was addition here, so I made this one addition. And uh, this one was subtraction, so I made that subtraction. So they're asking you what you would do first in this. So remember order of operations, um, parentheses, well there isn't any. Um, multiplication and division, there isn't any. So then it's addition and subtraction, what? Left to right. So you're going to start from the left, right here and you're gonna move your way to the right. So what would you do first? What's the first one you would do? It's addition. At least it looks that way, way to me, okay? All right, there you go. Um, that's 13.1, and uh, we will check this on Monday. Oh, let's see here, what date would that be? I need to get out my calendar here. So that would be Monday the, tomorrow's the 11th, so it'd be, it looks like the 18th. So, all right. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon.